Hi guys, it's me Karen and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do part three in the page we're doing in this book. We're working on this page here. We're going to do um, the leaves around the bottom of the page and we're going to use um, ink to do it. So I have uh, faded jeans, twisted citron and um, peeled paint here and we're going to use these inks to go around and do all these flowers. So I'm going to get the camera down and we're going to work on the bottom half here first and then we'll go up here and work on here. So hold on and I'll get you down. Okay, first color we're going to go in with is the peeled paint. I have these little, what they're called, are um, detail mini blending tools from Ranger. I'll leave a link down below. So we're going to go in with peeled paint first. This side. <laughs> I'm just going to take the ink and place it around in here. I'm using the detail one instead of a big one just because I think it's easier for some of you guys to use these. They're not the best tools in the world, but they're the only ones that um, this line makes that goes with the distress inks. The little foamy things. Some of them are lopsided. Some of them, when you use them a lot, just fall right off and you have to fix them. Sorry about that. Didn't mean to bump that. But, um, they do their job, so I just wish they were made a little bit better. And there we got some up here on the top. Trying to keep the camera down so we have a better or a closer up view on this. And then in this area we can just kind of lightly put it in there. And just bring some of that greenery out. And down at this section, same thing. Bring it on down there. Okay, we're just going to light it through these. These also don't hold as much ink as a big ink pad so, or ink um, tool, so you have to go back into the pad a lot here. Uh, also remember that the ink will dry lighter than what I'm putting it down as. And in between. We'll put a little in those wings a little bit because there's plants underneath there. Okay, next color is a very bright color. You can tell by the uh, lid how this one is more muted and this one is very bright. Twisted Citron. We turn the tool around so it's almost a neon -y color. We're going to put it in the lighter spots. I would assume the sun is coming down from the sky up there, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to hit all these on one side. If there's a whiter area, we want to puff those up with this color. Nope, I don't know if you can see that all the way up there. And we'll pop some of that color in there too. Just dashing that one around. Okay, so far we have green leaves. It looks pretty good. Don't know if I got any over here. There. Next we're going to go in with some faded jeans, which is obviously a deep kind of blue color. 
so um, the color will bring down the color from the hair and the little butterflies upward. And in the darkest areas, that's what we're aiming for. So anywhere it's nice and dark, you want to add a little of the blue in. Try not to get it on the um, lighter portions. So just like with pencil work, you want to keep this in the shadow areas and on the leaves that are underneath other leaves. You can use a pencil instead of ink if you like. This just made it a little easier for me. And you know how much I like my ink. Okay, over on this side. And throw a little of that in there too. And that there gives us a little more definition in our leaves down here. We can also throw a little of this into this kind of scarfed area that comes down just so that they will blend, have the same colors. I always add in a little bit of whatever I'm adding into something else. We got to do the um, leaves that are up here. So the same work here, starting off with the peeled paint. Go right over your pencil work. And bring it in a little into the wing. Oh, there's leaves down here too. I didn't even notice. We have leaves in here. So we will add those in <laughs> while we're here too. Okay, so we have the peeled paint down going in with the twisted citron. Light on one side. These are kind of in the dark, so. One of the things about being this close is you have to move the book all the time and I cannot see what's in the camera lens, so sorry about that. Is this the one I was using? Now in with the faded jeans, just darken up an area. Get these down here. That in some of that blue. I think we can probably bring it right up along her back to the two colors. So right in this area. Just dab in some of that blue. And we'll grab some of the green, the peeled paint. It's a nice dark color. I don't know if we need to add in the lighter color, but we'll just go around in here and add in some color. And I'm dabbing it. 
so it has a speckled look. You can kind of see it maybe teasing the eye that it's a bunch of floral behind there or leaf behind there. I'm going to add some of that up here. I forgot that leaf. So we're just going to dab it down, twirl the brush a little, add it going up there a little. Okay. Now you can either leave it as is or you can go in with pencil. I kind of like the look it has going for it here. Almost wish I would have done that up there, but she's all pencil, so we want to keep her pencil. This is kind of mm, afterthought leaf area, just kind of filler. So we're going to leave it inked. The wing is something I wanted to work on. Okay, the um, wing I want to kind of do in kind of a blue for her hair, the butterflies, a kind of a green coming in. And whatever color I'm going to do <laughs> the dress. <laughs> so I'm going to add in Salty Ocean, which is a very light blue. And I'm going to just dab it in because I want it light. Um, I'm going to figure out where my blue one is. Okay, so we're going to dab it on the stick and then we're just going to take it. We have these little dark lines, and I'm just going to bring it down and dab, just like that. So it's very soft, and I want it kind of translucent here. So I'm dabbing it on the lines and letting the ink kind of flow over. Not being very picky about it, just going to let it do its own thing. Just dabbing it. Maybe putting a few more dabs up under where the shadow would be. Not dragging this at all, just dabbing. Okay, going across those lines. You can hear it hitting the paper, okay. Just using it like a pouncing stencil, like you would with a stencil brush, I guess you should say. I'm going to go up in kind of a pouncing circular motion around here. It's going to be darker here, so I'm going to tilt it and use the sharper edge and pounce it going up that way. And drag it down a little bit. Okay, the same thing over here. Then where it's the darkest, just gonna drag it there. Okay, same on this side. Pounce, pounce, pounce. <laughs> Then on the edge of the tool, we'll just go up that side. Fluff it out a little bit. We're going to start that right here on that edge and just pull that up. Pull a little down and then just go up the wing. Now right up here, we're just going to take it and pull some down with the side of this. Um, so we're using the corner and pushing down like that on the paper. Okay. So I can drag it and make a line. So we ink that portion, drag and make a line. Just like you're using the side of your pencil. Okay, now this here reminds me of what she has going on up in her hair. So this piece, whatever color you're going to do this, which I'm going to add the blue in, 
I'm going to go up here and put in up here. Just very carefully drawing it right in the corner. Just get that color on there. Okay. That was fun. We need to add another color in there because we need to. <laughs> and I'm going to put in cracked pistachio. Cracked pistachio. It's a cool color. I do have another one out here. Um, well, I had the other one out here. Do, do, don't know where I put it. Well, we're going to use pack this one. I'm going to use the same green um, tool that we had out before, and I'm going to go on the uh, citron side. I'm going to darken that up. And then we're going to go right on our lines again with this color. So this will bring in our green. Just drawing it right up those lines. Down here. Right in here. I'm going to make that a circle. Just keep going up and drawing it right on the line. So angle it and draw. Gonna draw it across those lines again. Okay, we got it going pretty good. Now these particular dark, dark lines, if you want to, you can go in with your pencil and get those dark ones, or we can try to get them with the um tool here. We just have to decide what color we want them. So we have kind of a green base with a little bit of light blue going through here. So we can either do these in the same color we're going to do the dress. So if we were going to do the dress say in purple, you could do purple lines in here. If you're going to do the dress in pink, you would put pink lines in it. So we just have to decide what color we're going to do her dress. This will include a couple of these butterflies. <laughs> and the rest of the color that goes in um, her area. And I was thinking maybe a um, kind of maroon color uh, with some pinks in it or something in that line. So I'm looking for my aged mahogany uh, ink here. So I'm just not feeling purple today. Aged mahogany. And with aged mahogany, ooh, we could do rusty hinge too. These three colors go really good together. <laughs> uh, do I want to do those? Uh, okay, yeah, I guess we'll go with those. They'll go nicely with the paper. So, Aged Mahogany is our dark, gorgeous color. We have the Rusty Hinge and then the Spice Marmalade, which all go nicely together. I will get out a tool tool, a big one, because I need it. And I need a uh, kind of a dark one that's reds colors. Okay. So we'll put that on and then we'll go in with our rusty hinge first. Um, I got a piece of paper under here. So 
So I'm going to get some of that on. It's going to be this color, and that'll go gorgeous with the um, butterflies. God, I can speak today, can't I? Let's see. It'll also go really pretty in here. Yeah. So we're going to dab it in here first and get it on those gems here. We'll dab some of that up here too. And on the butterflies. Because why not? Okay. We have to figure out which one's the lightest color for our um oh shoot dress here. We have to start with a light color. So we're going to go with the um, Spiced Marmalade first. Rusty Hinge go back on so we know what it is. Okay. So this color... <laughs> I'm just going to have to raise the camera here a little bit. Sorry, guys. is between, I mean, you can make it really light, so it's the yellow, the darken it up, and it'll be an orangish color. And we're going to try to get this on the edge so I can get an edge here. Just kind of lightly go over the dress. Not putting any pressure on this at all, just letting the ink come off the pad. Very lightly. A little, little butterfly. We can go on to her sash area here because if we're light enough, it's just an extra shade of yellow. If you don't like it on her skin, we can go back in and erase. But it gives that nice glow there. Okay. We'll also put a little of this in here, pulling it upward. Adding it in. Okay. So there we have that color. If we put a little more in there, we'll darken it. Just pull it up. The shadow area. So I'm putting more pressure on it, and I'm pulling the ink around. We want a little darker up here, so we just push it down. Don't like it on the skin, pull it out. It'll move off the ink or the pencil. Okay, there's a little bit of darkness up here. I can't get up there, so we'll use a little stick here. Add it in. Okay. So that was our spiced marmalade. We're going to go in with the um, rusty hinge now. And the rusty hinge, again, is a darker color, a little darker orange. Add it in the shadows here. shadow under her arm. Okay. Add a little of this up in here too. Uh, you can't see where I'm putting it. Just around in her earrings or headpiece or whatever you want to call this. We're also going to put it on these 
little glowy things she's got. <laughs> Give that a little color. Okay, next color is the Aged Mahogany. And this color is Deep Red. We're going to go around. We're using uh, all these inks wet so they will blend in together. I haven't let them dry yet, so I'm just working wet into wet here. bit of her dress back here. Okay, now over on her wings, we're going to take a little of this. And ink it right into those lines there. down like I did with the blue right on the, or the green right on that side. Give us a shadow under here. Okay, we're also going to put a little in here and shadow these. Darken some of these up. Remember, it will dry lighter. Okay, with the aged mahogany, if you want to go in with a color palette um, that goes with it, would be the Bordeaux. So if you want to sharpen up any of these wing corners, just go in on the edges and blend it in really nice. to do it on all of them, just a few. You want to leave that soft look.
I'm just doing it very lightly here. Barely touching it. I want to kind of leave those translucent -y. Okay, we're going to do it over here. If you want to darken any of these areas up, you can definitely do that with this too. Okay, on these gems, we'll really darken up on one side. A little shadow underneath these. Okay, we'll bring in the um, amber gold, which will blend really nicely in with the original color we used. Bring some of that down in here. Okay. 
And we can throw a little of that in the wing too. I think that would look pretty. So we're just going to bring that up. all my ink tumbles down make sure it's clean we're gonna pull out some of that color that we inked on here brighten these up a little We do have pencil on these, that's why it's coming up so nice if you're wondering. Okay. in a little bit. Got to let some of that dry. Gonna lighten up a bright spot on those. We'll bring in our, this is what, the terracotta? No, the, yeah, terracotta in the luminance and we're gonna Deep at some of those. Help them look a little more gold. A little of that color down in here, too. Put a little shadow underneath that and up here. Let's see, I think the shadow would be behind here. Then under on these sides. because <laughs> we have it on our skin, we have to bring it up. Put it 
and I'm going to bug that guy over here too. Okay, a little up here on her forehead. a little gold work in there so we're going to just take our um, what is this the amber gold and just brighten up these like little leafy things that are coming around here some of that um, terracotta that I had just to darken up some of those then we use the eraser Just add some details and get some red Bordeaux back in on these gems. Okay, we have some of those little round things up here, so we're going to add some of that Bordeaux in here, just so it shows up all over. Okay, pretty cool. All right, what are we going to do with these butterflies up here? We've got three left. So Hmm, why not? Pistachio! I need to find the, the pistachio dude. <laughs> we're going to leave him dark. And we're going to add some of the pistachio that we put in the wing over here. And these guys. Oh, this one is really bad. <laughs> it's really sideways. And then this little guy down here. Then we'll get the, um, which blue did I use? I used the uh, Salty Ocean. Oh, we'll start with the little guy down here first. We're going to do the Salty Ocean next to the body and bring it out. Boom. Ah! Okay. Everything's safe. There. Okay. That's cool. 
Now we're going to do a little inking in here. And I'm not sure what we're going to do on that side, but we're going to ink up on this side. We are going to use the same colors we inked down here. So that's the faded jeans, peeled paint, and the citron. But we're going to change our ink pad to a bigger guy because there's more room here. <laughs> so I'm going to go in with the peeled paint first. And I'm going to do it the same way I did down there. I'm going to dab it. I'm going to try to stay on the inside of this line, which just means that I'm putting my pad over here and dabbing it this way. We'll get a little green in these little guys here, which we wanted down here anyway. So we're just dabbing it, bringing it in towards her hair. Okay. We're going to bring it across by dabbing. So we did our dark around in that area, but everywhere else we're just going to take it and pounce it. And we're going to bring it down around her face very gently, around her chin. Try not getting any on there. <laughs> And then just pouncing it down here. Pouncing it up. It's just to get the color down here. Okay. We're also going to take it on the outside down here. With a little of that, um, I don't know, green fluff that we have down here. Kind of out in this area. So we're going to fluff it out there and fluff it all the way down and around these leaves in this area here okay I'm gonna change colors We'll throw a little citron in there for fun using the same ink pad and just pouncing that color on. This one is going to be more willy nilly, just where you want it to have some brighter color. Do it harder in some spots, lighter in others. Boom. Okay, now we're going to bring in the blue. Right on top of all that and with the same ink pad. Faded jeans. We want it darker around the edge here, so we're going to just lightly pounce that next to that area. We're using that corner to do our pouncing. Do it slowly. And you can get that right on the edge there. We still have to color that. That's why I have not colored it yet. It's so I can mess up and get it all over it and not worry about it. We'll bring in some of this blue pouncing it gently in other areas. Down in here. You may want to have it darker in the crevice areas, so just kind of put it there and dab it a little harder. That'll darken those areas up.
and put some on this side. If we're going to put it that dark over there, we need to put a little more down on this side. a little extra green over here. Okay, then I'm going to bring in a stamp, my itty bitty, what is it called, background stamp. Itty bitty background stamp from Stamping Up. It comes in a set of four. It's a retired set. I'm going to go right into the peeled paint dots and put some in here. Okay. Kind of all the way around. We don't want it um, on her or anything, but out here in the areas. I'm going to move these things. <laughs> now if you want, you can put some of the blue ones in here too. Just go into the blue pad and add some. Can add it up here. back here kind of around our butterflies you're really good at this, you can kind of judge where you're going to stamp it and get really close to her face without going on her face. Okay, remember again, these will dry darker. All right. Try to remember to put the right color tops on the right ink pads. <laughs> I've done that before. Oops. <laughs> All right. So this little area here, it's almost colored in with our ink. So I'm just going to Tempt that, and if I get some of that, I'm just going to dab it and get some color up there. So we're just going to go over that and bring some of that up, and oh, why not do a stamping up here too? Kind of out where the butterflies are flying free. Did I really do all that? When did I do all that? <laughs> I'll try to blend that out a little bit. Okay, and um, do a couple stampings out there just to fix up that. And some blue. All right. 
Yeah, kind of like that. Okay, the only thing left to do is to put some Posca on those gems and brighten them up. So we just literally take the Posca and put dots on them. Brighten up those areas. It may take a couple of coats because I'm putting this on top of Distress Ink and the Distress Ink will be picked up by the acrylic paint in this. If you want to brighten up anybody, just add a little highlight there. These little dots in her hair, you can put the little circles in. Thought she had another couple of these somewhere. <laughs> oh, we could always make them up. Oh yeah, there's one here. There we go. Just going to run my finger on that. Yeah, I think I'll probably add a little white highlights down here too. If you want to darken those up on the other side, just bring in a pencil. Now, same thing down here, if you want to brighten any of those up.
and do the same thing. different color in to highlight some of those. I really got to quit playing, but... <laughs> Just a little extra. In there. I'm going to darken that one up underneath. And we'll throw a little white deck here, and then I'm going to call it. Just go back over it with the green. gold. I want to do. I think I'm pretty much done. 
only thing I want to do, and I don't want to do it with black, I want to kind of outline these areas that uh, need a little more color on them. Chestnut might do it. So like up on the forehead here, where our cat hair all over the place, okay. Want the sharpest edge I can get. Just trace over those lines that come down. And like on the bracelets. We'll throw some fingernail polish on. <laughs> Make sure her shoulder stands out. And that just cleans it up a little. Sharpening up everything. Then we'll take it green and just darken this one up.
the color I'm using is black, so <laughs> if you're curious. <laughs> And you can go in with the dark green. You could do this with the brown too if you want. shadow any of this any deeper just go in with the green and deepen them up yeah, I do a lot of playing after I'm done with most of it <laughs> We didn't get any green there. We'll fix that, won't we? <laughs> okay. I'm gonna call it. Can you see the whole thing? Then the camera stopped. So that is what she looks like. I think she turned out rather pretty. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope it wasn't too long, but it probably is. <laughs> Sorry about that. I hope you all have a wonderful day. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. And uh, I'll answer them as soon as I can. So thank you very much for watching again. And I hope you all have a wonderful day. Take care, everyone. Bye now.